How you doing? Justin here. In this lesson today, we're checking out Freak Out with the magnificent Nile Rodgers playing the guitar part there. Classic tune. The big deal here with this one is making sure that you kind of get the muted strumming thing going on. And but what I mean is, is this the, the, the strumming hat is kind of moving continuously. It's kind of doing like a thing. It's, it's mainly on the thinnest four strings. So that's the first thing to be aware of. Make sure that the, the pick is mainly picking the thinnest four strings. Also, we're going to have our thumb kind of hanging around over the top, touching the thickest two strings. Now, some of you might find that a little bit difficult. It's okay. I had a real lot of difficulty getting the thumb over when I started kind of trying to do that technique. It, you know, it just takes a little while for the hand to kind of figure out the way it's going to do that. Um, so, thumb re reaching over just to really keep those two, make sure they're quiet. But you shouldn't be hitting the thickest two strings. But uh, that's the job of the thumb. It's just to kind of double check there. Now. The fingers on the left hand are doing quite a lot of kind of work in this tune because they're keeping all of the strings muted all the time except for the ones that they're playing. And when they are playing, they're supposed to, they're, they're trying to press down specific strings, not just all of them, while maintaining the kind of the dead notes. So this idea of <laughs> a little bit of practice to get used to this kind of continuous strumming and making sure that you're hitting the right notes at the right time and muting all of the others with the uh, fretting hand. So um, let's go and have a look at a close-up of this hand and, and talk about what fingers are kind of muting what. Okay, so we're at the fifth fret here. First thing is in the fifth fret. Like I said, thumbs hanging over the top there just to keep making sure that those thickest two strings are not doing anything. Let, I'll just play the riff first again. <laughs> Now what's really important is that it's not clicky every time, it's not. But it's a really good exercise to do it that way. I want you to think that you're going to be strumming all four of the thinner strings every time a note's played and in between. So that'll really force you to make sure that you're getting your mutes good, right? So. The kind of the riff. Just kind of trying to show you the notes. So it's, it's really here. Just those. I'm using two fingers there just to make sure that you're clear that it's just the second. Even though we're playing it just with the first finger, the thinner string is muted. That, that's kind of the kind of thing that's a little bit tricky in this tune because the first finger, the tip of it should really be touching the fourth string and muting up there, holding down those two and lifting up enough to be muting the thinner string. So now you can see as well these fingers here are left on. I'm just leaving them to sit on those. It's actually sitting in between the fourth and the fifth string there, making sure those ones. So the fourth and fifth are muted. First finger is playing second, third, and lifting up enough to mute the thinner string. Same here. At this point, the tip of the second finger is also muting the fifth string, as well as the underneath of the thumb. The first finger is not quite reaching, but it's all of the strings covering as many different, all of the fingers rather, covering as many strings as you can all the time. That's kind of the trick here. Okay, now let's bring the strumming hand in so you can see really clearly the way the two hands are kind of synchronizing with each other and this continuous movement here with this hand. It's going to be a little bit weird because I'm trying to strum up the neck, which is not the normal place. So the notes might sound a bit weak, but hopefully you'll get the idea. So you've got this. <laughs> Notice that I'm clicking on every one just so you can hear and make sure that you've got the movements, but the real riff, a lot of those clicks are left out. It's best off listening to the record to suss out exactly how that goes and just try and make it like it. But really what we're going for is down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down. Now 
I'll try and count along with it. We're using the kind of your one eander, two eander, slowly, just so you can write it down if you want. I think we're going here. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. Give it a stop before I run out of breath. But you can get the idea that this hand. The strumming hand has to move continuously. That's the deal. Okay, let's have a look at the both hands with me playing in the right place, leaving out now some of the little clickies so you can kind of get an idea of how you should really be doing it. So, three, four. <laughs> See that hand's kind of moving continuously. I'm kind of accenting, you notice the one a bit. So one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. So each time that kind of helps that, that kind of. <laughs> kind of giving it a little bit more welly there when, when I want the notes a bit louder. That's part of the trick, but it's really, it's kind of relaxed. It's the, the feeling in your wrist when you're doing this sort of strumming should be. Almost like you're, you're flicking water off your hands, you know? It's not like rigid picking like this. As soon as you tense up your arm, it's going to go a wobbly. So it's got to be real loose and, you know, I'm flicking water off the hand. There. I hope you've enjoyed a look at Le Freak. Really, really good one if any of you guys are playing in bands and stuff, because that riff is kind of there for most of the song. So it's a really good one to kind of practice getting your muting in, practice locking in with the drummer and the bass player and really making sure that you settle in with the groove well. A good one to think about like how many of the little clicky things you get in. You know, when, when I first started playing funk guitar, I was putting that kind of clicky stuff in all the time, the chicka 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 with the, you know, the muted thing, which kind of sounds cool, but it, you know, after a little while, you don't want it in there all the time. You want to be able to control it to, to, to put it in when you want to and leave it out when you don't. So this is a really great song for practicing all of those things, as well as just being a really good, fun tune to play, you know, and, and pretty easy too. So hope you enjoyed that. I'll see you for another riff very soon. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.